So where I left off from last time for part three of the port area adjustment. Um, started off, well, I'm not gonna say all that. Watch the other two videos if you're curious. So right now I'm currently with three baffles of two by fours added. Now I'm gonna go into, this is really ugly, but it works. I got a round over, my name Jacob Viral, but this is from my old uh, 415 wall build I had. I'm just gonna use this as a test. So I knew I was loudest output with three two by fours in there. So now what I'm gonna be doing is seeing the results with this right here. So all I'm gonna do is add this in, put a couple of screws in place real quick, and then see how the results are this way. So this is something I wanna bring up real quick before I end. It's not about the look on this. If you care about looks, this isn't gonna be a good video for you. So the concept is you want a smooth surface for ports. So whether you have a kerf, whether you have a PVC pipe, you use some form of roundover, some kind of smooth surface for air velocity is 100% very important and critical for your output of your enclosure. So you wanna make sure you have some kind of smooth surface. It doesn't have to be this, but I'm cheap. I would rather have something that works, that's simple that I can remove and do tests. So it's just this PVC, uh, five inch PVC I cut in half. So you already see a lot of this tape I had on it. It's got some um, foam because I had it. This was in my previous build. All I did was just cut it down to size and ironically, hey, Jacob Vial tape fit perfect size here. Maybe it's a destiny for me to have a single 10 inch fourth order build since this fit perfect in my port. I didn't plan that. Before the length of the port was like really high and that was the center part I cut out of it. All right, anyway, this tape wasn't, I didn't plan for that to happen. It just worked out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put that in there as tight as possible. Let me put a couple of screws in to hold it in place because I know how ports like to move, especially with the pressure. And this will be at low volume. So we're gonna see how it does react with that port added. I'm gonna guess right now I'm gonna lose at first and then I'll gain. So lose by that, I'll take a piece of wood out, add that in and probably gain. But this round over will give you more output than two by four because two by four isn't smooth like a round over is. So smooth surfaces are important for output. So let me go back over there. Uh, actually, I got to switch phones. Holy smokes. My meter is on this phone. So let me switch phones real quick. Switch phones. Oops, sorry, that's loud. So uh, of course, I normally record with, I have a second phone and I have my meter phone as my actual um, for recording for the meter. So I was using that phone for the recording. So I had to change phones. Anyway, forget that. All right. So let's make sure I'm on 20 volume. I don't change that. My output's the same. Don't change anything. Let's do a round over score real quick. Just out of curiosity for part three of this. Oh. Try to start from 30 hertz. So that piece of wood is really thick, but adding that fourth piece of wood in there made me lose. So 18.11, let me make sure this is right. So that PVC actually made me lose drastically because remember I was at 19.63 and then 18.11. So drastically lost from that. So that's a good thing. Um, that means I need to open my port up to fit that in there. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so what I'm about to do is take out one piece of wood, add that PVC to the other piece, and we'll see how it does. So what happened was that this is closing in too much, so it's causing the output to be poor. So what I'm about to do is remove it and add it to another one. Take that piece of wood out. All right, so make sure these screws take them out. It's not the prettiest guys, but it works. I appreciate you guys watching. I do a lot of tips, and this is one of the tips for the fourth order and sixth orders. And really port enclosures, you can do this too, but it's a lot harder because it's more defined with ported enclosures, while fourth orders you can fine tune. That's why you don't make something pretty until you know you're at the right output. Every vehicle is different, so you can't just say a defined port area by an enclosure spec design. I get a lot of people asking for box designs. I don't want to ever design boxes because I know how variability works and you're not going to get the most output without trial and error. So it's not good to just give somebody 
oops, give somebody the uh, design when you can't guarantee it's going to be the best, then I'm accountable for it. Anyway, shouldn't have brought that up, but yep. All right, I get a lot of people ask you for those. There we go. I put three screws in there, and this PVC, it's just to make it a, has a little support mechanism behind it. So that looks a lot better than it did before. So just visually imagine that piece of wood in there. So yeah, see, that piece of wood was definitely closing that off a lot with that PVC. So I took that piece of wood out. Let's just visually look at it. Look at how close it is. See that? It's really close to that whatever point. So this might be a gain. I really hope it is. If it's a gain, guys, this is gonna be awesome. So that means my port's almost big enough to where I can look inside. My head's too big though. <laughs> All right, try to have fun with this. Close it off. We're gonna go see how it does. Accidentally hit the stop, but looks like that's right where it was. Do it one more time. Nineteen point two seven. So that shows I lost with that roundover on that one so that means it needs to close in just ever so slightly so let me show you some trick real quick so remember that 19.27 we're gonna remember that number that's close to the point it's still in the 19 db range but that doesn't mean that it can get higher than the 19.2 so what i'm going to do is bring that pvc in just ever so slightly because what happened is, is this wood this wood length is a little bit wider, so maybe that port length affects that output. So what I'm about to do is unscrew here, and I'm going to bring it out some. So the location of my PVC is going to be very important for this. And another thing is, is of course, the PVC isn't closed off. There's some air being trapped in it because it's not sealed. That's where I usually use tape and just tape over it. Um, that's the easiest. And of course, that, this is just one option. So I just brought it in. So what I did was before the hole was there, now it's there. So I brought it in about, I'd say a third of an inch, bringing the port out slightly, just so it can stick out a little more and then see how it does different. There we go. So before, see before you couldn't see a clearance of that two by four. Now you can. So the clearance of the PVC and the two by four. So I moved it in maybe about a, a quarter of an inch. So once I fine tune this, I'll mark it up and scribe it and finalize where I want it to be. But until then, testing. All right. So it didn't like that. So that means I need to go out. So that shows that how critical that port is. It's very tedious for that score. So I need to take the PVC out, and see how it does without it. So this is just fine tuning. There's so much stuff you can do within this, but this is part three of the video to end it off with port tuning. Thanks for always watching everybody. Stay tuned for more videos. I got more to do with this, but the concept's over. I'm not gonna drag it out any farther. So I'm getting fine-tuned to find out that maybe around two, one two by four length to a, is a great output, but with a round over finalized in the right location, I'm gonna get a little more output out of it. I just need to finalize this because right now there's a lot of air pockets and this other side is prettiest. It's wiggling and moving. So once I anchor that down and get it sealed off, it'll do better. But that's the testing concept I use when it comes to getting output. 
Not the prettiest, but it works. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see y'all next time.